Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of your Ledger Live software. So let's get started. So a lot of my viewers have contacted me having problems with Ledger Live, and it's just like any other piece of software, there can be issues, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of Ledger Live. Now keep in mind that this is not going to be erasing any of the wallets that are held on the Ledger. All of the private keys are stored safely on the Ledger, and this process is doing nothing to erase them. And also, even if this is the problem, you have a 24 word recovery phrase. Make sure you know where it is, where you can find it, and it's in a safe place in case anything weird happens, okay? So, but if you're just having trouble with Ledger Live software, this really has nothing to do with the wallets themselves in so much as the interface between your wallets and your computer and yourself. So before we do the clean install, let me just point out there are a couple of quick fixes you might want to try if you're having trouble with Ledger Live. If you go up here to the gear icon and then go to help, there are several of them here. One is clear cache. You might want to just try that one first. It just does a quick clear cache and you'll probably have to enter your password again and it will help with like minor sync issues and things like that. All right. And then also you've got this reset Ledger Live, which is pretty similar to what I'm about to do. It's going to erase all of the information on your computer uh, concerning Ledger Live, your accounts and all that other stuff. And then you could also do this repair down here. But in some cases, uh, if your software is corrupted and things have gone wonky, uh, even these tricks won't work, right? You're just going to want to do a clean install. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at our accounts. We want to note the accounts that we have set up and the cryptocurrencies that we have held in there. Because the ledger isn't going to remind us which cryptocurrencies that we have stored. We have to do that ourselves. So you could write it down. You could take a Windows screenshot by holding the Windows key and then hitting print screen like that. Or you can just take a picture of it with your phone, you know, just so you remember the accounts that are on there because they're going to be gone. Like I said, the wallets won't be gone, but you'll need to remember which accounts to set up. All right, so let's jump in. All right, I'm just going to close Ledger Live. Then I'm going to go over here to my Windows menu. I'm going to go over here to the settings. And we want to go to apps. All right, and then we'll go down. We can actually search for it, right? All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and uninstall it. All right. Pretty quick and easy. All right. So now that Ledger Live is off the computer, uh, there's one more thing we need to do. There's a little piece of it that gets left behind. So we're going to open up our Windows file folder down here. Whoops. We're going to go down here to our C drive. Okay. So we'll click on the C drive and then we want to go over here to users. Inside user, there should be a folder with your name on it or your account name, whatever you've set up on your computer. And then there's a folder called app data, which is a hidden folder that you need to get inside. So if you don't see the app data folder, go over here to view, go to options, and then go over here to the view tab and make sure that show hidden files and folders is ticked, right? So if it looks like that, just tick it over here, click apply or OK, whichever way you want to do it. Now you can see the app data folder. So just double click that and we're going to go into roaming. All right, and then we'll go down here to Ledger Live. This is the folder that contains all of the uh, account information and that sort of stuff. We want to get rid of that because we're assuming that you've got a wonked up version, something's corrupted. So we're just going to get rid of that, right? Now, if you want to be super safe, you could back it up to a flash drive. If you feel like uh, you can't live without it, you're worried, just back it up. But you can safely delete it. It's not going to hurt anything because, like I said, all the wallet information is stored on your device. All right, now that we've done that clean, clean, clean install, uninstall, now that we've uh, completely removed everything, 
let's just reinstall Ledger. All right, so let's go back over to the Ledger homepage and we wanna go over here to Downloads. All right, and then here's Ledger Live and we're gonna hit Download now. This is also a good idea to make sure you've got the latest version, right? Because if you delete your old version and then reinstall from here, you're gonna make sure to get the latest version, all right? So I'm gonna drop it in my Downloads folder. I'm gonna click Save. All right, and get over to your Downloads folder and double click. Choose yes. Let's get some of this clutter out of the way. Let's go ahead and hit Install. And then finish and run Ledger Live. Okay, and here we are at the launch screen. So uh, we've got these options. You can choose light, dark, or dusk, whatever you like. Hit get started. Now, uh, like I said, we didn't do anything to the ledger, right? We didn't touch the ledger. We just uninstalled and reinstalled the software. So what we've got here is an initialized device, all right? So we're gonna choose this option. And then we'll choose uh, Ledger Nano X or S, depending on your situation. I'm gonna choose the X. And you go through these initial uh, questions. Yes, I chose the pin code by myself. Yes, I set up my recovery phrase and wrote it down. And then it's gonna do the genuine check. Make sure that you've got the device connected and you've got your pin entered. So you got your device connected, you're at the home screen, you're not inside one of the apps, just go ahead and let it do the genuine check. And I passed that one pretty quick. So we'll hit continue. And now it wants us to set up a new password. All right, now remember here, it's asking you to set up a brand new password. It is not asking you for the one you had on there before. So if you had forgotten the password, don't freak out when you see this. It's just asking you to create a brand new one, right? So use your imagination. All right, so we'll hit continue here. All right, and then you can choose what information you wanna share with the Ledger servers. I don't like to share any of my information, but that's just me. We'll hit continue, and then we're ready to go. And we'll hit open Ledger live. All right, there's a few uh, warnings here. How to deal with crypto. All right, and so here we go. We're at the home screen, we're ready to set everything up. Now, uh, I don't really need to open the manager because if you uh, follow my directions, we did not touch our ledger, right? So you can see here that all of the apps that I had on the ledger are still there. Did not erase any of my apps, got all the apps. So I don't need to go into manager and add or subtract any apps, everything's good, right? That would have been a different issue if we were troubleshooting the device itself and our apps. In this case, we're just dealing with Ledger Live. So I'm going to go to Add Accounts. And the first account I'll add is Bitcoin. All right, and then I'm going to hit Continue. And it's telling me to connect the device, which I've done. It's connected. And it wants me to open the Bitcoin app. So I'll just uh, navigate over to the Bitcoin app, right? There's the Bitcoin app. Now that I'm on top of it, I just hit both buttons. All right, now I'm in the Bitcoin app and Ledger is happy, right? Application is ready. That's what you wanna see on your screen, on your device screen. On your computer screen, you'll hit continue and allow it to sync. All right, so you can see it found a bunch of accounts that I had on here. Like I said, every time you create a wallet on here, it stays there, it never goes away. So if you've uh, created wallets and, and stopped using them and added new ones and that, they'll always be available for when you do add account, right? It'll scan for any wallets and it'll find whatever's on there, right? Some of these wallets uh, have empty balances, but transaction histories, right? But I don't really need any of them except the one that has the balance in there. That's the one that was in my accounts interface. I'm gonna choose add account and then I'm done. Right. Let's just go to the next one. Right. I had Ethereum. So let's do Ethereum. So I'll go down here, choose Ethereum. I'll hit continue. Now it wants it connected, which it is. And it wants me to go into the Ethereum app. 
right? So as you can see, I'm in the Bitcoin app still from before. So I'm gonna navigate, hitting the one button until I get to quit. When I'm on quit, I hit both buttons, go back to the top screen, home screen. All right, so I'm just gonna navigate over to Ethereum, right? And now I'll hit both buttons again, and I'm in the Ethereum app, All right? And then you'll notice on my computer screen that it's ready for me to continue now. So I've uh, satisfied both conditions. I'll hit continue. Now it's scanning my device. It's connected and it's in the Ethereum app and I'm just waiting now for Ledger Live to scan for the account. Okay, and there we go. Now, uh, I had different names for them before, if you remember what my screen looked like, which I do. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Ethereum main. Whoops. And I'll go ahead and let that second Ethereum account be Ethereum 2. I could add the empty one, but I don't really need to. I'm just going to hit Add Accounts. And then we're done. Now let's make it a little bigger. So you can see here, not only did it find my Ethereum account and my Ethereum balance, it also saw all of the ERC20 tokens that I have stored on the, that Ethereum address. Right? Pretty easy. All right, now I'll go ahead and add the rest of the accounts that I had on there before. Just one at a time. Make sure for each account that you enter the app on the device as it's scanning for accounts. All right, and it found that Vertcoin account. I can take that one out. Edit this however you like, whatever makes sense to you. We'll hit Add Account. And there we go. Now I've restored all of the accounts that I had on there before. So it's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, all of the wallets are still stored on the device. So all you have to do is scan for each account and it will find them. And then we're back up and running again. So I hope this was helpful to you guys that are having trouble with your Ledger Live software. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.